Hello Kids Box 6 and welcome to another online lesson. Okay, today we're going to talk about sports. Okay, about sport. Okay, so I want you to think of a sport. Okay, and I'm going to ask you questions about the sport that you've thought about. Okay, the first question. Is it played in teams? The second question, what equipment is used? What do you use to play the game? What equipment is used? Is it dangerous? And have they tried it? Okay, so you could maybe Maybe choose a few sports and ask the questions yourself. Is it played in a team? What equipment is used? Is it dangerous? And have they tried it? Okay, we're going to have a look at the pupils book. Pupils book page 56. And we've got lots of sports to learn about today. Sports and hobbies. Okay, so what have we got? We've got an e-zine page. What's an e-zine? An e-zine is an internet magazine. Electronic magazine, an internet magazine. Okay, um, and who are our characters? Dan, Shari and Alvin. Okay, so the first part says, read and think. How many of these can be indoor hobbies? Okay, so just having a look at those. How many can be indoor? Okay, we can see, we can see there, there are actually four pictures that are outdoor. But, let's read and find out. Okay, let's have a look at Harry. Harry enjoys clothes design. He makes amazing t-shirts and lots of his friends ask him to make t-shirts for them. He sews and paints the t-shirts. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, have you ever made your own t-shirt? Have you ever made, have you ever designed and put and um, sewn, sewn um, fabric onto other fabrics? Um, so you could have added something onto a t-shirt. Have you ever done that? Have you ever designed something on a t-shirt? Okay, let's have a look at Betty now. Betty had her skateboard for two years and she can do a lot of exciting tricks. She goes to the skateboarding park to practice jumping with her friends because you should never skateboard near the road. Okay, so have a look. She, if you look at Betty, she's also got protective clothing as well. Why would she need protective clothing? Okay. And what, what is she trying to protect? And why would she protect that? Okay. Have a think of those questions. Have a think about those questions. Emma. Emma's ridden a bike since she was five. She rides her mountain bike everywhere, but she enjoys it best when she and her dad go to a special bike trail, they can ride up and down hills and through woods. Okay, so that's Emma. Again, she's got protective clothing. Has she got, has she got protective clothing? We can see that she has. She has some form of protection. So tell me what you can see. Okay. Sarah loves playing board games. She plays chess in the school club and she's practicing for a national competition. P 
People have played chess for more than a thousand years. So it's a very popular game. Okay. Do you know how to play chess? Do your family members know how to play chess? Okay, next one. Robert loves music, but he doesn't play an instrument. He uses his mouth to copy the sounds and rhythms of drums. This is called beatbox. Okay, can you give me an example of beatbox? Do you know how to do that? Okay, Richard's very fit and strong. He, and he does free running. He runs, jumps and climbs, walks in town centres. Free runners learn to jump and land safely in different ways, but it's still dangerous. Okay, so having a look at all those sports or hobbies, uh, what do you think is the most interesting and why? Okay, so think about that. And let's go back to the original question. How many of these can be indoor hobbies? So, t-shirt design can be an indoor hobby. You can have skate, skateboarding parks inside, but they're generally outside. So we'll look at the main, okay? Um, uh, you can ride a bike inside at, a, cycle, at a, a special place, but we'll say it's more of an outdoor activity. Chess, generally play it at home, at home, okay? And beatbox can be done inside. So I would say there, how many of these can be indoor hobbies? Um, I think they can all be indoor hobbies. You can play, you can do them inside with if you have special facilities. But I think the three, the, there are three. There's Harry's clothes design. Sarah playing chess and Robert doing his beatbox. Okay, but you can do all of them outside as well. Okay, let's just have a look at the words at the bottom. Okay, we've got skateboard and then what's next? Clothes design, free running, mountain bike, beatbox, board game, and chess. Okay, right, now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat, we're going to listen to the audio, we're going to repeat the word and say the name of the person that does that activity. Okay, so we're going to listen to the audio, remember, say the activity, repeat the word and say the name of the person who does that activity. One. Mountain bike. Two. Board games. Three. Free running. Four. Beatbox. Five. Clothes design. Six. Chess. Seven. Skateboard. Okay, the next activity is you've got to find things. Okay, so it says read again and find these things. Okay, so just read the sentences through. Just going to give you a moment to get the answers and then we'll go through the answers at, at the end.
So let's go through the answers. Somewhere you can go to ride. Okay, so we've got a bike trail, hills, woods. Okay, number two, something you can wear. It's a t-shirt, okay? Um, number three, somewhere with a lot of trees, that's a wood, okay? Number four, something you can sit on to ride is a bike. Number five, something you stand on to ride, that's a skateboard. And number six, something that people have played for centuries, that's chess. Okay, well done. Okay, and now we're on activity book, page 56. So activity book, page 56. Okay, what I want you to do is label the photos. So if we look at the pictures, we've got numbers next to the pictures and you put the, we've got the numbers, the lines with numbers next, the, the numbers with lines next to them. Fill the words in that we've learnt from today. Okay, so match the pictures and write the words. Okay. The next activity is we need to follow the free time words. Okay, so follow the words. Okay. And then it says, after we've followed the free time words, it, say, it says, look at the words in activity 10, use them to write a sentence. So you might want to write all the words down that aren't free time words, write them down and think of a couple, think of a sentence or a couple of sentences. Okay, so it's all, so for the sentence, it's all the words that aren't free time words. Okay, in the last activity, we've got an article on free running. Okay, so we're just, um, we're going to read the article and then we're just going to take, to take short answers from the article. Okay, so the first question is, when did free running become popular in Britain? It was in 2003, so just short answers. Okay, um, also um, free running is a really interesting sport but there's a lot of training and there's a lot of indoor training before they do the outdoor, the outdoor training and the outdoor filming and footage. It's so interesting. So if you want to have a look at free running, have a look on the internet and see if you can find some videos about free running. Um, it's very exciting. It's a very exciting sport. It's, um, you can really move and use your body in lots of different ways. It's incredible. Okay, well, that's it for today. Okay, uh, forgot to say, Take a photo of activity book page 56 and send it into the English Institute and I will mark your work. Okay, 